In this video, I want to show you how to uh, work with your database a little bit uh, in WordPress. And specifically, I helped a person uh, not long ago who, in their blog, they had been inundated with spam comments. And for whatever reason, they didn't have the spam filter turned on. And so they had just tons of comments sitting in their database uh, waiting to be approved. So here's the site, uh, the way that it was when I uh, looked at it to help the individual. If you notice on the left over here under comments, there are 4,703 comments uh, sitting here waiting uh, to be approved, pending approval. Uh, if I click on that comments, then uh, here there are just 238 pages of them. So needless to say, uh, this person's database had been inundated uh, and evidently they hadn't been keeping an eye on it and uh, didn't have one of the spam filters set up or something. Uh, but it was causing a real problem, got to the point where it was. Uh, now the problem that the person has, they could come in here and select these comments to be deleted. But uh, when you do this in the interface, uh, there's no way, or at least I haven't found a way, to delete more than about 30 or so comments at a time, or 20 comments as you can see here. So it'd take all day setting here, uh, selecting all the comments that we can view. You know, if I scroll down, uh, there's looks like 20 per page. And then coming here under the bulk actions and deleting them or spamming them. So there needs to be a faster way to clean this up. And there is if you can, um, if you're comfortable working in PHP MyAdmin. So let's go look at uh, this database in PHP MyAdmin. You log into PHP MyAdmin in your database, however, I go through cPanel and log into it. Uh, here's the actual database, and just to give you an idea of the uh, magnitude of the problem, if we look here at the actual size of the database, the overall size of the database is 57 megabytes. Uh, but if you look, 56.2 of that is due to the comments. 56.2 megabytes of the database the comments table. So we need a way to efficiently uh, deal with those comments. Now I could go in and just delete all of the comments. I could select the comments table, click the drop down, and in the drop down I could empty the table. But doing that would result in deleting all comments that were already approved that the person might want to keep. So we need another way to go in and actually delete the comments that haven't been approved yet is what I want to do. So I want to get rid of these 4,663 that's left here waiting, but keep the comments that have been approved uh, that we still want. So the easy way to do that in PHP My Admin is that I'm going to click on the comments table, click browse to look at them and you could browse through the comments here and look but when you do that uh, if you click over to or scroll over to the right you'll see a comment approved field uh, a one in that means that the comments been approved and a zero means it hasn't been approved so uh, the field is sorted by default usually showing the approved comments at the top I'm just going to click on it and it will sort them in uh, with the unapproved ones first so here are zeros. Now if I were to scroll through this table, I would just see those 6,000 uh, rows of zeros uh, in PHP My Admin. Now I could do that and then come over here and check all of them, click check all, and then with selected delete. But it's still going to be tough doing 6,000 rows in this view. So the most efficient way to do that is through an SQL query. Uh, now again, before you do anything like this on your database, I'd recommend that you back up your database, even with the bad stuff in it. So to do that, you just click on your database, click Export, make sure all your tables are selected, leave everything on the right at default, check SQL, check Save File, click Go, and follow the rest of the screen prompts, and you'll download that database to your computer. That way, if you mess anything up, you'll be able to recover. Okay, let's see how we can get rid of all those unapproved comments. I'm going to select the comments table. Uh, then I'm going to go to SQL tab to run an SQL query. And then in the SQL query field, this is where I'm going to type the query that's actually going to do the deleting for me. 
Uh, now let's look at one thing here again first on the comments table that I have. The actual name of the field that we want to work on is comment approved. So the field name is comment approved and the value for comments that are not approved is zero and the ones that are approved are one. So we want to delete everything in the comment approved field that has a value of zero. SQL tab, delete the default query and we're going to type in a query. We're going to go delete from, that's our first command, and then we're going to tell it the table that we want to delete from and that's going to be the WP comments table and then we're going to put a WHERE clause here. Make sure you put that WHERE clause. Very important. If you don't, then you're going to delete everything. So we're going to delete from the WP comments table WHERE and then we're going to tell it the um, field and the field was COMMENT APPROVED equals zero. So that's our query. What we're telling this to do whenever we click go is to delete from the WP comments table where in the comment approved field there's a zero. So when I click go and execute that it'll ask me if I'm sure. I'm saying yes I am sure. And then you see here 4,663 rows were deleted. So if I click back on my database now and scroll over notice that I still have overhead here okay and I talked about another video with overhead in the comments table it shows size 56 megabytes 56.2 and I have 55 megabytes of overhead now if I were to export this database I wouldn't be downloading 56 meg that's again just sort of the fragmentation of the file there but if you look there's only 48 records in this comments table now versus the thousands that we had and if I were to come down now after I've deleted those and check all my tables with overhead optimize the table now go back and look and you'll see that that overhead's been removed now my comments table is only 23.9 kilobyte and the overall size of my database now is only a megabyte so I've removed all those spam comments and I reduced the size of my database from 58 or whatever it was here megabytes down to just a megabyte in size so cleaned it up really well if we go back now and just look at the blog for example and refresh now notice all those comments are gone from the blog I only have three pages of comments now and those are the comments that were approved so now at this point I would want to enable some type of spam uh, device to uh, manage those uh, comments a little more effectively. But you can use that technique in your database uh, to um, bulk delete things. Just be careful when you're deleting and are doing anything in your database. Always take a backup first uh, and then just pay attention to what you're doing, especially when you're running queries. Uh, because there is no undo command in PHP my admin. When you do something, it's done. You can't reverse it. So just keep that in mind. Always take a backup and uh, uh, just uh, be careful of what you're doing in your database. Uh, but if you do take that backup and you do something wrong, then you can always recover, of course.